Yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back. We got a bunch of fire Air Jordans coming out. I'm gonna break them all down, show you guys the new collection coming. Let's go. Welcome back to Tamsha's Kicks, guys. Today we got a fire video. Tons of new unreleased Air Jordan retros are coming out soon. I'm gonna be breaking down all of those releases as well as some new Air Jordans that I just got in. Go through a quick unboxing with those just to show you guys some of the pairs that I've been getting in. Super excited for this video today. You won't wanna miss it, so make sure to stick around. First, I'm gonna do the unboxings of those Jordans and then we'll get into the unreleased Air Jordan retros coming. So fire. Also guys, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Turn the notifications on as well for you, boy, because we're gonna do another giveaway here in November. It's gonna be something fire. Don't know what it is yet. I got clothing, shoes, PS5? I don't know, but I'm gonna be doing a giveaway in November, so make sure you guys are subscribed for that. Other than that, let's get into the video today. Okay, so these are some of just my latest cops that I just got. They're three Air Jordans that I hit off of restocks and then also a new release Jordan. Just wanna bring them out, show you guys some of the pairs I'm getting. Sometimes I don't do an unboxing for all my shoes, but I definitely wanna show you guys my pairs more. So I'm gonna do, kind of try to do this a little bit more on each video, just show some of the new shoes that I've been getting in. Starting off, we're gonna hit this Air Jordan 1 Mid. It is a grade school size six. And this is the Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead Shoes. These are so fire right here. I was like very hyped on this release. I didn't go for like my size or anything. I just went for small sizes for like my girl and stuff. But this shoe, the details on the shoe are actually crazy. You can see that different kind of material on the tongue. And then you go around and you can see the swoosh. It's in that kind of cracked material as well as on the ankle lock. You see the same thing. But guys, I think this was a very sick Air Jordan. Prices right now aren't too high on them but definitely they're gonna shoe up in the future. Next up is another Air Jordan Mid. I think, yeah, this one is another grade school size. This is the light white Arctic Pink Air Jordan Mid. These ones just came out not too long ago. I hit these on a restock. And I think these are actually another fire pair of Jordans. I really vibe with like the color blocking on this one. You can see the pink, you got the pink outsole as well, going along with the white hole right there and then also the black tongue just a nice clean shoe definitely for the ladies out there but again another nice jordan right here prices with this one are actually around like 170 to 200 so they're doing pretty good right now they'll probably keep climbing too because all the girls want the jordans last up hit this one in a personal size definitely think this one's going straight to the toe this is a jordan mid i hit this on chic Super hard to cop, but I somehow hit it. These are the Air Jordan Mid Chicago black toes. You can see basically like the Chicago highs, but they don't cost a thousand dollars. No, but I really vibe with these. You can see just the Chicago vibes all around the toe. You got the red, the white, the black. The toe is different. I've been kind of thinking, what if I painted the toe white, give it more Chicago vibe on there? but I definitely do like the shoe still, super nice mid. So yeah, these are the three mids that I copped. Now for the rest of the video, recently Nike just came out and announced 11 new Air Jordan retros that are coming soon, early 2021, looking like a spring release. And all these Air Jordan 11 shoes are fire. We got ones, we got threes, fours, nines, 13, tons of different Air Jordans. So I'm gonna break down each of the shoes. I'm gonna show like picture of them, like the material, go through um, if they're gonna have nice resale, I think, and like my opinions on them really, cause I'm super excited for a couple of these shoes. Some of them not too excited about, but definitely a strong start for 2021. So let's check these shoes out. First up, the shoe I'm most excited about and also an early contender for Air Jordan 1 High of the year. We have this Air Jordan High in this like university blue North Carolina colorway. Only real difference between this and like the other OG UNC color is that black on the heel lock. But I mean, that doesn't even matter because this shoe is so gas. Love this shoe. Resale, definitely gonna go crazy with this one, upper 400s. Gonna be a very nice shoe. Hopefully there's like a good amount of stock so we can all cop. This one's definitely going right up on the wall. Super excited for this one. Next up is Jordan Brand's actually first ever women's exclusive on the Jordan 9. We have this Jordan 9 Change the World coming out. This shoe features some different colors on both of the shoes around the midsole and up around like the heel. And this shoe's kind of crazy. It's got some different like details on it. It's got that change the world stitching as well. Resale should be 
it's, there should be some money there just because it's like the first women's exclusive with Jordan Knight. And I do think it was actually, looks like it's made for women. Like this color, I think would look pretty good on like women's feet, but like guys, I don't know. Not too hyped about this one, but it is a cool shoe. Another women's exclusive shoe, we have the Air Jordan 1 High Silver Toe. This is definitely like a spinoff on that gold toe that came out. Another great plus with this shoe is that we are getting a full size run. Huge extended size run, which means that guys are definitely gonna be able to cop this shoe in their personal sizes. So it's kind of like a women's exclusive shoe, but not really, which is fine because definitely that's another one that I will definitely be targeting next year gonna be a nice shoe leather already looking kind of nice i think it's got that tumbled leather on there with that like crinkle silver definitely a cop resale will be very nice as well upper 300s three to 400 maybe but this is another one keep on your radar for next year keeping it with another air jordan one high we have this air jordan one in this like volt gold and sail kind of colorway i don't know how i feel about this one like the more i look at it the more i like it but I definitely don't vibe with like the Volt and gold color we got going on there. A little too much, maybe just swap out like the Volt for the gold. This is a banger, but it's not like bad. I'll definitely need to see like the in-hand pictures once like the release kind of comes around, we get some more official images. But for now, let's just say that it's a nice Air Jordan 1. An Air Jordan 3, I'm very excited about. This one is kind of returning for the first time since 2007. It's this Air Jordan 3 that's got some nice Travis Scott vibes on it. You have the elephant print, the matted midsole. Nice Air Jordan 3. I will be looking to cop this one. Resell, probably like mid to upper 200s. Not anything crazy, but another nice Air Jordan 3. I think people will be going for it. It has nice color blocking. Next up is a women's exclusive Air Jordan 4. It's this like orange black kind of space suit vibes, I think. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like NASA. I don't know how I feel about this one. I don't really like the upper that much. It kind of definitely looks like a space suit. I don't know. I'm just not like the biggest fan of it. I think I'll be passing on this one. It is a women's exclusive, so size run are probably limited as well. Will help keep resell down in case you don't cop and you're trying to cop it. I don't think these will go too crazy. One of like, Honestly, the most disappointing ones for me out of this pack of 11 that's coming out. Guys, lately, Air Jordan 4s have been going crazy and Jordan is definitely keeping it with that. And we have this North Carolina UNC kind of color going on this Air Jordan 4. Absolutely love this one. This is another banger shoe for 2021. Jordan of the year. I don't know, this one is so sweet. It has that Carolina blue suede all along the upper definitely going to be looking to throw this one up on the fours wall got the unions psgs going to be getting those fire reds as well but definitely these like unc suede fours are going to be amazing next is a kind of remake on the air jordan 5 stealth we do have this air jordan 5 that's coming out it's got a white leather upper the silver tongue and then that splatter on it as well color blocking is nice materials of course on the five look great and I think this will be another shoe that won't be like crazy profits, but it will have some good profits because it just looks nice. Now, this is the Air Jordan 5 I was talking about. This Air Jordan 5 looks amazing. The nice materials on the upper. And we also have something new where on the Jordan 5, they moved the reflective material from the tongue, that like 3M. They've moved it onto like the quarter panel and like the lower part of the tongue. And I really, really vibe with it. I think that moving that reflective material onto the quarter panel is gonna do amazing job on this shoe, especially with that like charcoal, black, dark gray vibe on the shoe. It's definitely gonna go well. I'm super excited for this shoe. This one's probably my third favorite. This one will also have some good resale, I think. Another Air Jordan 9, we have this one with like the dark gray kind of charcoal vibe as well as the university gold going along the back part of the heel. I'm like actually kind of vibing with this one. I've never really been a fan of Air Jordan 9s, but this one looks pretty sick. I might have to pick this one up next year just to kind of see this Air Jordan 9 because I do like it. I don't think they'll do crazy numbers, not very amazing resale, but a nice Air Jordan 9 that I think I'll be trying to pick up because it looks like they did a good job on this one. And then last up, we have this Air Jordan 13 in this starfish orange and white. Basically, it's like the Lucky Greens, but with this like starfish orange color. I'm all right with it. The suede is nice. Um, the Air Jordan 13 Lucky Greens were a nice shoe. 
If you guys like orange, you'll definitely be wanting to check this shoe out because 13s are definitely underrated. Not the biggest fan of orange, but still another sick Air Jordan. And that's gonna kind of wrap up the 11 Air Jordans that have been announced for 2021. Hopefully coming out soon in spring around March to May, we should see a bunch of these just start coming out. Super excited for these. Let me know which pair you guys are most excited for. Make sure that subscribe button as well. Leave a big like for your boy. Don't forget, we got a giveaway coming up. Stay locked in. I'm going to be announcing that soon. We'll see you guys next time.